ya! I am back! It is the weekend and I'm still rolling with this uh, video every day, this YouTube challenge. So uh, you need to bear with me because honestly, you don't need to bear with me. You can watch or not watch. That is totally up to you. But uh, I am just having random thoughts on what to do. So I thought, okay, let's just do a random thought video. But then I'm like, no, I want to focus it because I want to talk about the candy I like because Yesterday was refined sugar free. Today's all about the sugar because it's the weekend. You just do whatever you want on the weekend. You run wild and free. Just watched the Blue Jay game and it was so much fun to watch. And then I started thinking, well, a lot of people, even people that watch my YouTube channel that tune in, don't like baseball or don't watch baseball or don't understand baseball or have just never gotten into it. And it just made me think of when I didn't understand baseball or when I didn't like baseball or thought it was boring, um, you know, back in the day when I was living in Saskatoon. First thing, how to get into baseball. When I first moved to Toronto, I started working at the Rogers Center when it first turned Rogers Center. So it was Sky Dome, turned Rogers Center. And uh, I got into baseball that way because I was working right behind home plate and I got to see all the action. I got to get to know all the players. And I think that's the main key here. You need to get to know the players, but that seems like a daunting task. It seems like a lot to do, especially when you don't really feel like it, don't really want to. I get that. So here's my task for you. If you do not like baseball or are not into baseball at all, all you need to do is attach yourself to a starting pitcher and the manager. Find a manager. Find a manager that you can hold on to, that you identify with his personality, think he's doing a good job, maybe just like his face, you like the cut of his jib, that's fine by me. That's all you really need to do because the manager is the life of the team. He gets them amped up when there's something going down on the field. He gets out there, he kicks dirt, he bumps bellies. Well, the good ones do. The good ones do. Just find those two things. Find a player that you like, on the team that you think you want to get into, maybe it's the Blue Jays. And if it is the Blue Jays, I highly recommend you tune in right now. They're, they're spice. They're, they're spicing up again. And they're on the downswing and they're on the upswing. And I love it. If you are a subscriber of mine, I want you to identify with the things that I identify with because that way we have some symbiosis here. That way we have some more camaraderie. We have more things to bond over, uh, not just video games. Um, and movies and candy but also baseball so once you get into baseball with me I understand if I if you feel like I'm asking for too much because sometimes I will be posting baseball videos here and I want you guys to want to get into it with me okay I'm super needy today it's the weekend again and uh, we're gonna start getting into more video game stuff as the week goes on because well E3 is kicking off so uh, let's do candy, let's do baseball today. Oh my god, also the Italians are playing on Monday in the Euro Cup, so that's gonna be a thing for me. It's gonna be super annoying wearing my Italian jersey up and down the streets of Toronto, screaming Forza Turi, um, like I'm fluent or something, when I'm not. So, uh, let's do typical Italian, you know. Um, first of all, you all know that I love Stevia. It's my favorite pop. I'm not getting paid to talk about this stuff, okay? I just love it genuinely and want to share it with you and want you to love it with me. Again, being super selfish and needy, uh, Zevia is a zero calorie soda because it's sweetened with Stevia. Uh, this is the best flavor. This is ginger root beer. It's my absolute favorite. Uh, you can find this stuff in health food stores or um, uh, Loblaws sells it, I think. Sobeys sells it. There's a couple of grocery stores you can find it at. Um, if you do score because it's a good day. Sugar, no artificial sweeteners, caffeine free. Okay, so with those words, those hot button words, those, those non-GMO, like, hi, I'm gonna be all over this because I get up on my high horse while I drink it thinking that I'm better than everybody drinking soda. I wanna talk to you about these gourmet lollipops because uh, I found them recently and I've been obsessed with them. I have at least one a week. Uh, so this weekend will be, you know, just adding to my repertoire of these lollies. Um, this one's special to me. It's mango chili. 
that must sound weird, I know, but sweet and spicy, but sweet and spicy actually go together really well, and they do it so perfectly in this. Uh, they are Linda's Lollies, um, so you can see it there. Linda's Lollies. They go for a dollar or two bucks. I think it's a dollar. Uh, you can find them. You can find them at Mastermind, like at toy stores, and um, I also find them at Ed's Real Scoop. So an ice cream shop where I go for ice cream and then a lolly. Uh, this one is blue raspberry watermelon. Never tried it. It's actually not mine. <clears throat> it's Francisco's. It's my fiance's, and uh, he's been hoarding these because we'll buy them and then I'll eat mine, and he just keeps hoarding his. Like he's saving it for a special day. So uh, I'm gonna eat his. <laughs> now. He has no idea. I will. I'll replace it. I'll replace it, all right? Sharing is caring. What I love about these is the fact that you actually just rip it from the top because they're gourmet. You don't twist from the bottom. No, you rip from the top. So you just do a little, you just do a little this. What I love about these is the fact that you actually just rip it from the top because they're gourmet. You don't twist from the bottom. No, you rip from the top. So you just do a little, you just do a little this. Break it the roll. Break it as up. Um, okay, see, like you just slide it down. These are adult lollies, okay? They're freaking huge. They're almost too big. They're almost too big to eat them comfortably. And there will be a lot of like slurping noises that you're gonna make. Don't be gross. Don't, don't get gross, okay? In the comments, I don't wanna see any stupid shit, all right? This one got a little melty. I'm just gonna tell Francisco that because it was melty, I had to eat it for him. I'm doing him a favor. Doing him a favor. So this is blue, blue raspberry watermelon. It smells so good. It smells like cotton candy. Although they do have a cotton candy flavor. And they have a, a candy apple flavor that's so good. Oh my gosh. This, this smells like heaven. Oh yeah. Okay. This tastes like the blue nerds. Okay, seriously. These are the best lollipops in the world. I'm just saying it right now. If you think you have a better lollipop out there, let me know in the comments below. Uh, thanks so much for watching and subscribing. Oh yeah, I'm also gonna be eating these today. I'm really excited about all the sugar I'm gonna be eating today. <laughs> so, these are my other faves. These are like, you finish off with Junior Mints because then you feel like uh, so fresh and so clean, clean. Uh, thanks so much for watching and putting up with my random thoughts today. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below, and uh, we'll be kicking off the E3 coverage tomorrow, so stay tuned for that, and uh, enjoy your weekend. See you tomorrow. Ciao.